Want to know what your baby is thinking? Listen and watch closely. Though your baby is not yet able to speak to you in familiar words and phrases, they do use different kinds of cries, coos, and body language to convey their needs. Learning how to decipher these cues can help you understand whether your baby is hungry, tired, or uncomfortable. During their first few months, babies need constant contact and interaction with their caregivers to feel safe and secure as they become acquainted with life outside the womb. Staying connected benefits mom and baby as mom is able to learn her baby's unique cues and cries. In this series of videos, our experts offer advice to help you better understand the behavior and emotions of infants from birth to three months old. These short one-minute videos provide quick, practical tips on how you can meet your baby's needs and support their development in their first few months. Don't you just love playing with your newborn? Playing with your baby as often as possible during their first few months is not just fun for you, it's helpful to your baby's development. During the first months, your baby can absorb information effortlessly. Six-month-old Phoenix plays on the floor with the toys that surround him. As he observes himself in the mirror, he learns to control his body, an instinct that will take him far and wide through his early years. When Phoenix hears speaking, he takes in every bit of language without a conscious effort. Making eye contact and using rich vocabulary only greatens the knowledge that builds in his young mind. When playing with your baby, focus on encouraging movement and provide as much language as possible. The play is more than just fun. It's what stimulates your baby's development. Did you know the environment your baby grows in can significantly influence their development? Your infant internalizes the tranquility around them. Here are some points to consider when seeking to create peaceful surroundings for your child. At six months old, Phoenix's environment begins each day in his room. It's very orderly, everything has a place. Phoenix unconsciously absorbs that sense of order. Keeping only a few toys out for play helps keep the space clutter free, preventing Phoenix from becoming overstimulated. All Phoenix's interactions are carried out with kindness, even during play. Offering him toys instead of putting them in his hands shows respect. Phoenix feels secure by following a predictable routine of activities each day, from eating in the same nursing chair to using the same changing station. Your baby absorbs the peacefulness of their environment. Ensure a healthy development by maintaining an atmosphere of order and respect. Do you want to help your child develop their ability to concentrate and focus? Concentration is a skill your child will need throughout life for learning and completing tasks. You can support your little one's ability to focus by providing engaging activities and minimizing distractions. At times when 12-week-old Atticus is alert and content, his mom offers him an activity that will spark his interest, such as this brachiation triangle. The bright colors and shapes dangling from the overhead mobile grab his attention as he tries to reach for the objects. Mom stays nearby, but she makes great effort not to interrupt her son when he concentrates on an activity. She believes it's important to protect his concentration. His intense focus signifies that Atticus is working on developing his mind and body. You can help build and support your child's concentration by offering them engaging activities and minimizing distractions. Do you have a hard time putting your baby down? That irresistible longing to consistently hold your baby lets them know they are loved, but it also serves an important biological purpose. Eight-week-old Michael is still adjusting to life outside his mom's womb. To help him feel safe and protected, mom spends a lot of time holding and nurturing her son each day. When she looks into his eyes and listens attentively to his coos, she's letting Michael know that love surrounds him. Michael learns to recognize mom's face while mom becomes more attuned to her son's different behavioral patterns. These interactions help Michael and his mom develop a deep bond while also building Michael's confidence in his new surroundings. While allowing your baby time to move freely is imperative for their growth, so is dedicating time to nurture, hold, and talk to them. Make sure to get plenty of daily cuddles with your infant to ensure healthy development.
trying to decipher your baby's cries can feel like playing charades. But although crying sounds may seem similar, they differ depending on what your baby needs. Listen closely. Though eight-week-old Michael is not yet able to speak, he uses distinct sounds to convey what he needs or how he's feeling. For example, when he makes a ne sound, he's telling mom he's hungry. An ah sound, like the one heard in the word yawn, is his infant way of saying he's tired. Closely watching Michael's behaviors and following a routine also helps mom decipher if her son is hungry, tired, or uncomfortable, even when she can't understand his cries. Watching closely can also help mom learn to pick up on the distinct sounds her baby makes. Listening attentively to your baby's cries, coupled with carefully observing their behavior, can help you determine how to help them when they're trying to communicate. Have you considered the special significance of your baby's first two months? During this time, known as the symbiotic period, an infant gradually adapts to life outside the womb, and mom receives great benefits from the close contact with her newborn. Here's how to make the most out of this precious time together. Staying closely connected during these first couple of months helps Walker positively adapt to the world. Nursing him provides the perfect nutrition and aids her body as it recovers from childbirth. Her uterus contracts during the feedings. Every smile and cuddle his mom provides makes Walker feel secure. The time mom spends holding, feeding, and talking to her baby causes her brain to release feel-good hormones essential to maintain a healthy mental state. Spending time holding and nourishing your baby during the symbiotic period provides a perfect start to the new phase in the lives of both mom and baby. Like little scientists, babies use keen observation to learn about the world. How can you support your baby's natural desire to investigate their surroundings? Though it may not look like one-month-old Nathan is learning, he unconsciously absorbs every sight, sound, smell, and texture. His mom has created a comfortable, safe area where Nathan can lay down and take in what's going on around him. She also provides engaging toys and colorful objects to captivate Nathan's attention. She does not interrupt her son when he's engrossed in a sight or sound. This way, he can develop his concentration and make new discoveries on his own which is truly the best way for Nathan to learn. Support your baby's innate desire to investigate their surroundings by providing interesting views, sounds, and textures. And remember, even the tiniest explorer needs to focus without interruption. Do you know your baby may be attempting their first conversations right now? Before your baby utters their first word, they make coos and body gestures to communicate. What can you do to support this wonderful activity? One-month-old Nathan enjoys experimenting with making different sounds. He practices pursing his lips together and using his tongue to make new noises. Nathan's mom listens and watches carefully to decipher the meaning of each sound and movement. She takes turns talking with him, being careful not to interrupt when he makes attempts to communicate. By responding to her son, she builds his confidence because he feels heard and acknowledged. Moreover, when she allows him to finish making his sounds, she demonstrates respect for her infant. Make the most out of your baby's first attempts at communication by acknowledging their efforts, talking back, and not interrupting as they form those precious first sounds. 